Welcome to Electra Online. One of the viewers wrote that we had not yet finished this playlist on work energy and power examples, so we're going to now finish it. And hopefully we can do that the same for all the other ones that we haven't finished yet. It's a lot of work, but we'll get to it. But here, let's do this example. We have a, kilo, a five kilogram mass being dragged across the floor at a constant speed. Notice that the force is not directed horizontally or parallel to the floor, but at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. And yes, there's a coefficient of friction of 0.2. And let's assume that this is kinetic friction since we are dragging the box across the floor. And what we want to do here is calculate the work done by dragging the box. And let's say we're going to drag the box for a distance of five meters. So let's say that we're going to drag the box this way with the distance is equal to five meters. What is the work done to do so? So what we should do is first a couple of things. We need to recognize all the forces acting on the five kilogram mass. And of course, is the force that pulls on the box is directed at an angle, we're going to find the x and y components of that. So here we have the x component, f sub x, is equal to f times the cosine of 30 degrees, which would be equal to 0.866f. And then we have the y component, so here we can say that f sub y is equal to f times the sine of 30 degrees, which means it's 0.5f. Now we don't know yet what f is, but we are given the hint that we're moving the box at a constant speed, which means constant speed, acceleration is zero. We can use the equation f net, which is equal to mass times acceleration. And since we know that there's no acceleration since we're moving at constant speed, we therefore know that f net must equal zero. So we need to then find all the forces acting on this object. So we have the force mg acting downward, mg, and then we have the normal force pushing back. So here's the normal force. And the normal force pushing back, the normal force is going to be equal to the weight of the block, mg, minus the component of f that's pulling upward. So that's minus f sub y, which means that this is equal to mg minus 0.5f. So that's the normal force pushing up. And then we're going to have a friction force. So friction force is going to be directed in the opposite direction of motion. The friction force, which by definition is the normal force times mu, mu sub k in this case. And of course the normal force is equal to uh, this one right here, which means that the friction force, which is equal to the normal force times mu sub k, which is equal to mg minus 0.5f multiplied times mu sub k, which in this case is 0.2, which means that this is equal to 0.2 mg minus 0.5 times 0.2 is 0.1f. And that's the friction force acting on the block. Now we're ready to use Newton's second law to come up with an equation that will allow us to find the force and then ultimately find the work done. So we can say that F net is equal to all the forces aiding the motion minus all the forces opposing the motion. So the force aiding the motion would be F sub x minus the force opposing the motion, which would be the friction force. And we know that that's going to be equal to zero which means that F sub X must equal the friction force. So that means F sub X equals the force friction. And F sub X is 0.866F. 0.866F equals the friction force, which is right here, which is 0.2 times the, the weight of the object minus 0.1F. Since we're trying to find the magnitude of the force, we're going to move all the terms with f to the left side. So we have 0.866f plus 0.1f is equal to 0.2mg. So we have 0.966f is equal to 0.2mg. And so f is equal to 0.2mg divided by 
which is equal to 0 0.2 times 5 kilograms for the mass times 9.8 meters per second square for G divided by 0 0.966 and finally the force F is equal to 0 0.2 times 5 which is 1 times 9.8 divided by 0.966 equals and we have 1.0145 1.0145 0.0145 newtons. I kept a few extra significant figures, well, they're not really significant, a few extra decimal places to avoid any Randolph error. So now we need to find the work done and the work done is equal to the force times the displacement. Notice it's the force acting in the same direction as the displacement which is F sub X. So in this case that will be F sub X times D. We can't take F, we need to take F sub X and so this is equal to F times the cosine of 30 degrees, or 0.866F, which is the component of the force acting in the same direction as the displacement, and we multiply it times 5 meters. And so in this case, this is 0 0.8, whoop, that should be an 8, 0 0.866 multiplied times F, which is 1.0145 newtons. So that is 0.866 times the force, times 5 meters. And notice the units are going to be Newton meters, which is equal to joules. And we multiply that times 5, times 0.866 equals, and we get 43.9 joules. 43.9 joules is the total work done to drag the box to the right 5 meters by pulling up at an angle of 30 degrees with a force equal to slightly over 1 Newton. And that is how we do that.